Well, that's right, Luke. This survey suggests that nearly four-fifths of all those surveyed here at the Royal College of Nursing say that housing and accommodation is a really serious issue and they're worried about the cost of their accommodation. To give you one example, an agency who specialises in housing for NHS workers can provide a one-bedroom flat in Limehouse in East London for about £1,300 a month. Now, the average starting salary is about 26000 a year, so they're looking at spending almost three-quarters of their salary on on housing and accommodation. Of course, they've also got higher travel costs, higher rents. They are given a bit extra to live in London, but unfortunately, that is seemingly not enough. I'm joined now by Sue Ta, who is from the Royal College of Nursing. Thanks very much for joining us. Sue, they're just leaving London because the quality of life here is just not good enough. That's right. What, what our nurses are telling us, that they love working in London, they love looking after the patients in London, but they can't afford to live here. If they want to have a normal life that most people aspire to, you cannot spend over three quarters of your income on accommodation. I mean, this is something that's happening across London in all professions. I mean, some people just say, well, if you do want to live in the capital, that's just how much it costs. I think I would probably agree that that's how much it costs, but actually what we're looking at is low paid workers here. What you'll have is a, a registered nurse who's got a degree qualification, who's coming in on £26,000. On top of the um, cost of the housing, you've also got very high travel costs in London. If you're not earning the salary that actually allows you to have a reasonable cost of living, you're not going to stay. Now you're asking the next Mayor of London, whoever that may be, to try and sort out this issue. How can it be resolved? Well, there, there is a key worker housing scheme that used to be very successful. This, unfortunately, has not um, been as robustly applied as it had been previously. So if we had a proper key worker housing scheme where um, rents were of a reasonable manner so that staff could afford to live in London, stay in London and deliver care, that would be really helpful. But also we have an awful lot of NHS estate in London that is, is not being used for anything and is, if it's going to be sold off it would be better to sell it and actually keep that um, for key worker housing so that NHS staff can benefit from NHS premises. Now, last year there were 17 percent of jobs in london for nurses which were unfilled this how how much is this really stretching the whole service oh it's absolutely catastrophic when you when you look at and you listen to the nurses and, and members and what they tell you about what they can't deliver during the course of a day it's absolutely devastating and of course at the end of that are our patients our people that are using our service that are not getting the care that they actually deserve and if nurses do continue to leave London at the rate they are doing now how and where do you fill these positions well that's the difficulty um, while we have um, in place a 17 percent registered nurse vacancy we also know that coming down the line is we have a relatively elderly workforce in that they're coming up to retirement so that's going to make the position even worse um, what we have also have in place is a cap on the use of agency nurses. So what our um, employers in London are finding is that to fill vacancies with agency staff who may come from all over the country, um, that's going to be a real financial drain on them. So the services are going to cost more and more. So it's a pretty bleak outlook then at the moment for nursing in London? It's quite a, a worrying and, a, and troubling outlook if you're a nurse in London because if you have the option to actually move away and to earn 26000 in another part of the country, your quality of life is more likely to be better. Sue, thank you very much for talking to us this lunchtime on London Live News. Of course, they are lobbying the mayor there for changes to the way nurses are treated and paid in the capital. Uh, they want to stop and halt that huge 40% of nurses who are leaving London.